Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Vic's Garage. Uh, in today's episode, I gotta get some maintenance done on the 2014 Ram EcoDiesel. So I'm gonna show you how to do an oil change. Let's get to it. So first thing I'm gonna cover quickly on uh, oil changes for these trucks, especially the older ones, is if you look in the manual in the back here, it's gonna tell you uh, the recommended oil is a 5W30. Now, when these trucks were new, Chrysler was using, I think it was a Pennzoil 5W30, but in around 2016 or so, um, they started having some issues with bearing failures and stuff, and they switched to a heavier weight oil. So now the recommendation is the 5W40. Most people are using a Shell Rotella T6. That's what I'm gonna use. Um, I'll list some other ones that people have reportedly used, but I've been using this since, since the change in recommendation from Chrysler. So we're gonna to need to make sure you have the appropriate oil and you're gonna need about 10 and a half liters of it. With that aside, let's get to started on the process. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is remove the oil filter cap. It's located right here on the right side if you're facing the engine just below the master cylinder. You're gonna need a one and 16th inch socket to get this off. Um, it's just plastic, so use like a, an actual six point socket versus a 12 or like a um, wrench or pliers or something to get it off, just so you don't damage it, because it doesn't take much. So just get this on, loosen it up. It's not on very tight. Once you get it pretty loose, you can just use your hands. It is snug. There we go. So, as you can see, the filter is attached to it right here. This just comes off, it, it snaps in. There you go. Snaps in the bottom, you can throw this out now. Next, just grab some paper towels or a shop rag and give it a quick clean in here. Get most of that old oil out. Shouldn't be much, it'll drain down on its own, but just to get what's left in the top. Okay, so next thing is you got the cap, just give it a quick clean. Get a rag, clean the thread so none of those dirty contaminants get in there. And then we got to remove the uh, O-ring on the cap. You're going to get a new one with your filter. All right, so next we're going to install the filter. Um, I use a K&N PS7042. The Chrysler one is way overpriced, and I've always had good success with K&N stuff. So you can see on the filter, it's like there's clips there. And that'll clip into the top of the cap. So you just push it in, you'll hear a click, and there you go, it's, it's in now. So the other thing you need to do is in your box will be a replacement O-ring. I just get a little bit of oil. I try to keep a little bit in the cap. Just get it with my finger and lube up that O-ring a bit. Needs to get a little oil on it. And it doesn't have to be dripping or anything, but just lube that up a bit. Once you've done that, it goes back on the cap. And you'll see there's a groove here. That's where it's got to go. Same spot you took it off. Like that. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is reinstall the filter. On the cap, you'll see it has a torque spec. Um, I generally just tighten it by hand and then give it like a, 
an eighth of a turn with the with the ratchet and just not over tighten it. So that's what I'm going to do. But if you care to, you can follow the torque specs on it. So I just installed by hand, tighten it all the way down. It will be snug, but you'll be able to tighten it. And once I get it all the way down, I just give it the, that little turn with the socket. And the reason I say install it by hand is just so you don't cross thread it and ruin the cap again. It's plastic, it doesn't take much. There, snug. Okay, so next we're gonna move on to draining the oil. Um, first thing to do is just take the cap off. This will help the oil flow. Some people remove the dipstick, uh, I don't, I don't bother, I think it's excessive. Just take the cap off. Okay, so now I got the oil cap off up top. I'm underneath the car, I got my drain, my catch pan in place. It's time to drain the oil. So it's right here. It's another 6.13 mil socket. I'm just gonna crack that and uh, have all the oil drain into the pan. And now that we've had this truck running for a bit before and everything, it's gonna drain nice and smooth, nice and quick. So, so now let it drain completely. Um, depending who you talk to, people will say anywhere from like 30 minutes to an hour. I don't know, I got nowhere to go. So I'm gonna go have a drink. I'm gonna let this thing drain. And then I'm just gonna come check on it and see if it's done draining. But Okay, so it's been about a half hour. You can see it's not really coming out anymore. Small couple drips. It's good enough for me. Other people want to wait. I don't care that much. Just clean that off. <clears throat> I'll post the torque specs in the comments, but again, this is one of those ones where I just give it a quarter turn or something, snug it up. And there, it's good enough. Okay, back up top, I'm gonna remove the dipstick. Give that a wipe. Just put it off the side here. And we're gonna start adding the oil. Let's get your funnel. And like I said, it's uh, 10 and a half liters. Okay, after you've added your, your oil, let's insert the wipe down dipstick in. Just pull it out, check the level. And I don't know if you can see, but I'm basically, I'm right at the max, so I'm good. And that's it. Wipe down the inevitable drips that you have caused. Put your cap back on and you're done. Okay, so last thing we gotta do is reset the oil life monitor. So we're just gonna go through all the menus here. Find the info one, obviously oil change required. Uh, once you get here to the vehicle info tab, we'll just scroll through until we find oil life oh there it was uh, you can see i let it go a little too long here but we'll just hit the
resets. Okay, and done. Back to 100%. So there you have it, guys. That's how you do the oil change on a 2014 Ram Eco Diesel. Pretty straightforward. Um, as uh, always with oil, make sure you dispose of it properly, whatever your local regulations and rules are. Uh, it's also a good time when you do the oil change, change your air filter. I didn't get into that because I have a K&N. I'm going to do that, probably make another video of how to clean and and uh, change a K&N air filter. So I'll get to that in a day or two and I'll maybe throw another video up for that. If you have any questions, throw it down in the comment section below. I'm going to throw all the torque specs and uh, things like that in the comment section or in the uh, description section. So for those of you who want to actually torque the drain plug or the oil filter cap, you got it right there. And uh, I'll throw links to any of the products that I've used in the description as well. That's it for this one, guys. Take it easy.